Hey guys, it's General Heed here. How is everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we are going to be doing our very first vehicle comparison across most of the Halo games. So, people have been asking for this for a while, and the reason why it took us so long to finally do a vehicle comparison is that, well, comparing vehicles across the Halo games is a little more complicated than comparing uh, weapons or AIs. And that's, you know, it took a lot, of, a lot more research and some other stuff, so that's why it took a little bit longer to do. But, you know, we finally did it, and the very first vehicle we'll be comparing is the Ghost. One of the most classic vehicles throughout the Halo series. And also one of the OG vehicles, too, uh, since Halo 1. Or rather, Halo Combat Evolved. Uh, but anyway, so for this comparison, we'll be comparing most of the Halo games, actually. Um, you know, excluding the games that we can't, as you probably already know. Uh, I have to mention it all the time, because if I don't mention it, then people still ask about it. But I can't compare Halo 5 or Halo 2 Anniversary multiplayer because there's no mod tools that exist yet. I can get the uh, stats for those games and the files to make an objective comparison. So that's why we'll be excluding Halo 5 and Halo 2 Anniversary multiplayer. But anyways, let's get right into it, starting with Halo 1, the game that introduced the Ghost. Now, quick word of caution, uh, Halo 1 stats are a little different than the newer Halo games. They, they're different values and different scales, but we did our best to convert them to a similar scale as the uh, newer Halo games, but they won't be 100% accurate. But anyways, let's start with the performance of the Ghost. It has a top speed of 6.75 world units a second. Uh, its acceleration seems to be 0.15 when converted, but I don't know if that's correct. Uh, there's no value for its deceleration, it has no boosting, and it has 160 points of health in the campaign version. I know the multiplayer version is indestructible, but we'll be looking at the campaign version for this. Um, but anyways, that is uh, our Ghost in Halo 1. Uh, the health is definitely the most accurate, but the rest is yeah, iffy. Um, but anyways, the, the rest we can compare as normal with the weapons. So the, boat, the, uh, the bolts that the uh, Ghost shoots out, they have a max range of 50 meters. And the velocity starts at 50 and then slows down to 25 over time. Uh, each bolt does 14 points of damage, has a fire rate of 6 bolts a second, and basically it does a total of 84 points of damage per second. So that is our semi-baseline starting with Halo 1. Now, the next game to bring back the Ghost is Halo 2, and with it, a lot of changes. Uh, not, not just visual upgrades to the Ghost, but now like pieces of the Ghost can be damaged, the armor and stuff. Um, the Ghost does have a new vulnerability though, the fuel tank. One shot there with the sniper rifle and you go boom. Uh, but the Ghost can now also boost. And, you know, there's a lot of other um, new features to it as well. So, with that in mind, let's take a look at the stats, with starting with the performance again. So, the Ghost, without boosting, has a top speed of 5 world units a second. It has an acceleration scale of 6. It has a deceleration or braking of 8. And the boost power is 1.65 times the top speed. So, so that's the acceleration scale. And interestingly enough, Halo 2 Ghosts do actually have a limited uh, boost time. It's not infinite. It has a boost time of 300,000 seconds, which is 83 hours. And it has a health of 175 points. And then moving on to the weapons, the, go the uh, bolts that it shoots out have a max range of 80 meters now and a velocity of 15 meters per second, uh, both of which are... Actually, the range is an upgrade from Halo 1, but the velocity is a bit of a downgrade overall. But damage has been... Damage is still the same at 14. Fire rate is 10, so the damage per second is now 140, which is a significant upgrade over Halo 1's Ghost. Now, moving on to Halo 3. Halo 3... You know, for both weapons and AIs, tends to be very similar to Halo 2. It tends to be just like a visually upgraded version of Halo 2. Sometimes I call it like a shinier version of Halo 2 stuff. And it's pretty true actually, because a lot of times the stats are pretty similar. Um, and you know, overall, feature-wise, the Halo 3 ghosts are pretty much the same. However, the fuel tank vulnerability no longer exists. You can't one-shot a ghost anymore by shooting in the fuel tank. Uh, as for the stats, a lot of it's still the same. Speed, acceleration, braking, uh, all the same. Boost power is still 1.65 times the top speed. And the boost time is still 300,000 seconds, which is uh, approximately 83 hours, uh, after which your, your boost will run out. As for your health, though, the health has been increased significantly from Halo 2. Uh, it goes from 175 up to 400 now. And Halo 2 itself was higher than Halo 1. So it's, a, it's much stronger, better armor, better health. As for its weapons, 
So again, very similar to Halo 2. Max range of 80, uh, velocity of 30 meters per second, which is uh, it's actually double the velocity of Halo 2, so that's better. Uh, damage has been downgraded a little bit. It is now 12 instead of 14. And the fire rate has also been dropped to 7.5 rounds a second. So the DPS is now 90. So overall, the Ghost's weapon is a little weaker in uh, Halo 3 compared to Halo 2. And even so, weaker than Halo 1. But anyways, we'll be skipping ODST for this because the ODST Ghost is completely identical to Halo 3's. So we'll just consider that Halo 3's Ghost as well. So the next game we'll be going to now is Halo Reach. Uh, Halo Reach actually takes place before Halo 1, but it still has a lot of the features of the newer Ghosts, such as boost and stuff like that, and I'm pretty sure it also doesn't have the fuel tank vulnerability either. Uh, but as for its stats, it's still very similar as Halo 3's and Halo 2's Ghost. Same speed, same acceleration, same braking. The boost power is still the same at 1.65, however, now they've introduced uh, limited boost time. You can run out of boost a lot quicker now. In about 13.33 seconds, you run out of boost and you have to wait for it to recharge. Which doesn't take too long to recharge, but it's pretty annoying because, um, you know, 83 hours is, you know, you could just consider that infinite boost as far as gameplay goes, but now it's not infinite anymore. And the health has even been reduced to 355 points of health versus the 400 from Halo 3. Uh, as for the weapons though, still very similar. It is uh, max range of 80, velocity of 30, damage of 8, reduced from Halo 3, so it's even weaker in Halo Reach. Uh, but the fire rate remains the same, so because the damage is reduced, now the damage per second is now only 60, which is even less than Halo 3's DPS of um, 90. So overall, the Ghost's weapons have been getting progressively weaker each game, starting with Halo 2. But what about Halo 4? Well, let's take a look at Halo 4 now. Halo 4 is the last game we'll be comparing for this, that we can compare. Uh, it you know, still brings back the Ghost with some visual changes and upgrades. Uh, it looks pretty nice still. And there's some more pieces of it that are more animated now. But it still has a lot of the same limitations as Halo Reach's Ghost. Because, uh, you know, Halo 4 tends to just be, you know, Halo Reach with a visual upgrade. Kind of like how Halo 3 is Halo 2 with a visual upgrade. The Halo 4's Ghost still has a limited boost and everything. Uh, and, you know, its stats you can see here are pretty much the same. Uh, same speed, same acceleration, same braking. Boost power is still 1.65, the boost time is still 13.33 seconds before you can't boost anymore, and the health of the ghost is still 355 points of damage. Um, so that's uh, that's an unfortunate thing. Now, that's uh, it's basically the same as Halo Reach as far as the performance goes, but the weapons, there's a, there are some slight differences in this case. Max range is still 80, velocity is still 50. Uh, actually, no, Velocity's bumped up. It's th Halo Reach was 30, and now it's 50 in Halo 4. Correction there. Uh, damage is now 8.5, instead of the 8 in Halo Reach. So it's actually slightly more powerful. But the fire rate remains 7.5. But because the damage is slightly higher, the damage per second is now 63.75. So it's slightly more powerful than Halo Reach is. So basically, Halo 4's Ghost is a more powerful Halo Reach Ghost, slightly. So which Halo game has the best Ghost after all this... Uh, you know, <clears throat> all these stats. Well, I would have to say Halo 3 has the best ghost of the entire series. And the reason is, it may not be the most powerful as far as the weapons go. The most powerful weapons would be uh, Halo 2's with its 140 damage per second. But Halo 3's ghost, I would say, is the best is because it does not have the fuel tank vulnerability that Halo 2's has. With Halo 2, you know, a simple sniper rifle shot or even a few BR shots is enough to take it out uh, if you shoot in the fuel tank. So that's a huge vulnerability with it. But and, and plus the health is even lower on top of that. Only 175 points of health in Halo 2's Ghost versus the 400 on Halo 3's Ghost. So definitely Halo 3's Ghosts are pretty much like almost tanks compared to Halo 2's Ghosts. And the big advantage uh, with Halo 2 and 3's over uh, Halo 1, Reach, and 4 is that technically there is vehicle health, but as long as the driver is alive in the vehicle, the vehicle itself is indestructible. So like in Halo Reach and 4 and Halo 1, if people keep shooting your vehicle, your ghost, eventually it'll blow up and you could die with it, or, um, you, or you get like ejected from it when it blows up. But there's no such flaw in Halo 3 and 2's ghosts. So, you know, people can shoot as much as they want, but as long as the driver is still alive, the ghost will never explode. 
So that is a big advantage of Halo 2 and 3. And that's why Halo 2 and 3 automatically go on top in the top two. But then between Halo 2 and 3, I declare Halo 3 the best because of Halo 3's significantly better uh, health. But if you want to go purely by which one can, has the most firepower, or mo the most damaging firepower, then you could say Halo 2's Ghost. But it's a lot more vulnerable. So that is why I'd have to go with uh, Halo 3's as the best Ghost. But yeah, so there you have it. Halo 3's Ghost is pretty much the best of the entire series, the entire Halo series that we can compare. Uh, but anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video and uh, found it to be interesting, you know, as always, make sure to leave a like and leave your thoughts in the comments. Just anything else you want to check out or compare, it could be, you know, weapons, vehicles, AIs, whatever you want or anything else you want me to look into, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'll definitely do my best to uh, look into it when I get the chance. Uh, but other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.